Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to fix Nvidia installer failed on a Windows 10 system. Now what's going to happen is when you go to install your graphics driver, uh, you'll see it will go checking system compatibility and it will start searching your system for your graphics card and start to install the driver for you. And uh, basically it will fail, you'll get an error message come up on the installation and you won't be able to install it. Now there's quite a few different reasons why this happens. Uh, you can see here NVIDIA uh, installer failed and it's not installed that software or that driver for you and I'm going to show you how to resolve this. It's pretty straightforward to resolve once you know how uh, but I'll show you how to fix it. But you can see here uh, Windows likes to install drivers for you and I don't like to uh, let Windows take control of my graphics driver or anything like that because it can be a bit funky and uh, mess things up. So I like to always go to the manufacturer's website and install uh, the NVIDIA graphics driver straight from there and install it. And sometimes I have much more uh, success at doing that. And there's loads of other reasons like your um, uh, antivirus program uh, can interfere with that. And also it could be just a general bug with Windows 10 because Windows 10 is full of bugs as we well know. So the easiest way to resolve this issue is to get uh, the driver display uninstaller. And uh, this is a third party software. Now some people might not like that, but it's a good tool to uninstall all the driver. And you can see here, this is, I've used this for many, many years and it is a really good tool and it's saved me many different times uh, for driver uh, issues with graphics. So I've got this downloaded and I'm unzipping it into a folder uh, onto my desktop. Uh, you want to make sure you get these before you start uninstalling drivers and stuff because this is what we're going to be using. And uh, if you don't want to follow this method and you want to use the uninstaller, by all means, go go ahead and do that. But you'll still run into difficulties installing sometimes. So I've got the uh, driver uh, uninstaller right there. And another thing I want to do here is go into Control Panel. So go down to the bottom and type Control Panel. And then go into... Uh, devices uh, where your devices are and you want to go into there and disable driver installation so devices and printers click on that one there and on your computer you should see it up on the top left here click on this and right click here to go into driver installation settings now you can put this back afterwards but this is a really cool little trick to uh, get your drivers installed the way you want to do them. So you can see it's recommended that they are installed automatically by Windows. And I don't like that idea because sometimes it can put a rogue driver on there or a beta driver or something like that. And it could cause a confliction and failure, as you will see here. Now, before we start booting into safe mode to resolve the problem, we need to get our graphics driver. And we're going to be going to Google here and doing a search for NVIDIA drivers. Now you can use this for Radeon drivers and also Intel HD drivers or whatever it is you're having issues with and uninstall them. Now you can see here, we're just gonna go straight to this website here and get the driver from the source. That is the best place to get your graphics driver and that is from NVIDIA themselves, okay? And you can choose which one you want. Now we're gonna be getting the, the GeForce 1060 here. So you just choose your model and generation basically and your operating system and that's pretty much it. Once you choose your graphics card here, it's pretty straightforward stuff. And then you can go over to choose your operating system, what you're running, what version, and then you can click on search. And this will let you download the very latest drivers. Now, if you're having issues, you may want to go back a generation just to make sure, and that sometimes helps too. So try the latest driver, any problems, go back a gen and uh, try that one. So I'm going to download this one and uh, let this come down and once we've got this downloaded it'd be about 500 odd megabytes or something like that could change but there we go it's about 500 odd so we'll get that uh, file down and then what we're going to do is unzip it and put that into our folder where we've got our uninstaller so we've got everything in one uh, place so it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so far now we all know Windows 10 is quite buggy and uh, I try not to update it all the time straight away. Uh, so if it's a major big update, I try to hold off and wait. And the reason why I do that is so I don't run into issues like this or other types of issues that uh, other people are gonna experience because audio issues, network issues, I've had them all 
with the latest update. So I try to hold off for a week or two until it stabilizes and until I know there's no issues and then I'll go and roll out my own updates. So we've got this uh, update downloaded here. So I'm just gonna drag this into our display driver folder, which I created earlier. And uh, we've got this in our uh, drive run install folder here on my desktop. So we're ready to go here. You can see all my files are ready to uh, use. So what I wanna do here is reboot the system. So we're gonna reboot into uh, safe mode here. So the way you can do that is hold your shift key down and hold on to it and don't let go and then go down to the start button and restart your system whilst holding the shift key. This will give you some features where you can get into safe mode, troubleshoot your computer and do a bunch of other stuff in there, system restore and all that sort of stuff. You can see here we've got choose an option, I'm gonna go down to troubleshoot and then we're gonna come down to advanced options. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard and now use your arrow keys to come all the way down to where it says uh, see more recovery options. There we go and now push enter and this will give us another option which is called startup uh, settings. Go into there and now we can uh, restart the computer and then select the option once it restarts to boot into safe mode and that's option uh, five or option four one of those two, just push option five or four on your keyboard, and this will get you into safe mode. Now we're in safe mode, we can go ahead and start to uninstall our graphics driver. So what we need to do here is go to our folder, which contains our uninstaller program. So let's just go and open this up. Now what this is gonna do is not just uninstall the graphics driver, which is a very small program we need to uninstall every part of that driver which is all the remnants of that driver which are going to be left behind so if you uninstall the driver via uh, device manager it's only going to get rid of the driver and leave all the remnants behind and that can cause a confliction you continue to have issues with the installation process until you remove every part of that driver so what we're going to do is extract it into a folder in the same folder that we're running so we can open up that folder now and run the actual program. Now, if you've never used this program, it's a cool little program that removes all the remnants of your graphics drivers and can fix and resolve a lot of problems. So you can see here, uh, we've got um, the graphics card uh, selected. On the right-hand side, all we need to do is use the drop-down uh, menu here. You can see audio and uh, GPU. So we've selected the GPU and it's now selected NVIDIA and you can do uh, AMD as well, Radeon. So we've got some options here. We've got the clean and restart, which is at the top, and that's the one I'm going to do because I want to restart uh, the system once I've removed all the drivers. Now remember, because we're in uh, safe mode, our antivirus program is not running, and also uh, Windows won't attempt to install the new driver when it automatically detects uh, a, a piece of hardware with no driver because we've disabled that feature, and that's important. Otherwise, you're going to end up with this... Uh, uh, installation failure loop where you can't fix it okay so what we're going to do here is restart the system once it's removed the driver it will automatically restart and load up to the desktop now it's took us straight back to the desktop and not took us back to safe mode now if we went into ms config and put safe mode it would have took us straight back into safe mode uh, but i wanted to show you that other way so now you can see if we look at device manager right click and go into device manager we can see the Microsoft uh, Display Adapter. It, it's a basic display adapter, and we've got a massive big screen here, which means it hasn't installed the new NVIDIA uh, graphics driver, which was uh, the one that was causing the problem. So we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do here is go into MS Config, and I'll show you how to get into safe mode. And this is the way I like to get into safe mode because it will help you get into safe mode continually uh, without having to um, keep doing that same um, you know same option of holding the shift key and uh, rebooting the system so once this does this it will go straight into save mode here so we're in save mode here and what i'm going to do is go into our display driver and install it now you don't want to be installing this from the desktop uh, you want to go into save mode because obviously you've got antivirus programs running and other security programs that may be causing an issue with the installation process and you'll see now we're in safe mode and we've removed the whole driver package itself 
it should go ahead and start to install that pretty easily uh, without any problems. Now, if you're a PC repair tech and you're not using uh, this type of method, then you've been living under a rock somewhere because this is a tried and trusted way of getting rid of all those drivers and driver packs from the system and any sort of registry keys that could be lingering around that could conflict with other installations. And it's the same thing with antivirus programs. You want to get rid of all of that when you're uninstalling it and then install a new different version of antivirus program because that can cause the same sort of problems and conflictions uh, by leaving remnants behind. So Revo Uninstall it as another tool that you can use to remove remnants that are left behind once you uninstall them. And uh, you can see this program is doing a great job because it's checking for system compatibility now. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it will allow us to install this because we've removed every part of that driver. And of course, we've disabled the uh, automatic driver install from uh, the, the devices and printers set up there. So we can change that back afterwards if we want to. And there we go. We've now got to the next stage, which is accept terms and conditions. And what I would like to do here is go down to custom. So I don't want to do express. I'm going to go to custom and you can see this little part down here, perform a clean installation. And that's what I like to do as well. And that will give us a clean installation of our driver and remove any sort of other remnants that maybe this driver uh, program didn't remove, but I'm pretty sure I could have just done a normal install if I wanted to and it would have gone in. I just like to do that just to make sure it's a sort of double safety net really and you can see it's starting to go ahead and install that onto our system and that should resolve the problem now these problems uh, can be quite taxing for the average person that doesn't know about these particular types of programs but as a pc repair tech you should know about these types of programs and you should be using them because they can save you a lot of time and also resolve uh, issues very quickly. That's why these programs have been designed to make uh, uninstalling graphics drivers and also issues like you see earlier on in the video uh, a breeze to fix. And you can see here now it's going ahead and going to install this driver straight onto this system. Whereas if we didn't know anything about this particular type of software, uh, we could be sitting here trying to install this graphics driver and going round and round in circles and keep getting the same um, error message coming up when you're trying to install it and it can be quite frustrating. So I hope this one helps people out. I'll just speed this process up of installing the driver. There we go. And now all you need to do is go back into your MS config and remove the uh, safe mode from there. And uh, that system will then reboot and you are good to go. You have now resolved and fixed your driver issue is that simple anyway it's pretty easy once you know how and you can see here if I go to device manager and go up to the top where the driver display is you can see it's now got in our Nvidia graphics driver instead of the uh, Microsoft one and now you can also go back into control panel here devices and printers and change back your option to accept uh, drivers from Microsoft if you want to I'll just show you how to do that there we go Thanks to Jens Carlson for recommending uh, me to make this video. It's a pleasure to make it and show you how to fix it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one's been helpful to you. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.